Hello friends, welcome back. So in the child theme, you can override the functions if it parent theme is allowed, and templates and template parts you can allow. But there are classes and other file functions are there, but that you cannot override until unless if it added a function exists yet. Okay, so here this function, for example, in the template functions, do not provide a uh, function exists yet. So that's why you cannot use uh, define the same function with the same name in your child theme. Okay, but if it's provide function exists check then we can do but still uh, these functions are available so you can use the parent team classes function as well into the into your child team because it's a parent team so parent team always be there okay so we can use the functions of the parent team into the child team okay and there are multiple things uh, if you uh, if you go through this child teams documentation on our official team handbook okay you can also include the style sheets like uh, Earlier, we were importing the style.css file as an add import, but uh, now it's not needed because we can uh, enqueue the style uh, separately. Okay, and uh, parent team use uh, like uh, if you want to enqueue a style uh, own a child theme style. So in that case, you have to use get style sheet URI function. Okay, so here you can uh, load check uh, read the statement if the parent team loads its style using a function starting get template such as a get template directory or get template directory uri the child team needs to load just the child styles using the parents handle in the dependencies parameter okay because this get style sheet uri and get style sheet directory function uh, will return the part of the uh, active team okay not the parent team and for to get the parent team uh, your directory part then we have to use get template and if you go to the functions.php of the parent team and if you go to the styles parts here here you can see the style.css has been uh, enqueued uh, and this even after overriding the 2021 thing all right uh, it's use uh, it's uh, used the get template directory URI function and this get template directory URI function will return the part of the parent team not the child team okay uh, so that's why even after not enqueuing the style.css file separately into the child team parent team file is loaded okay but in that case if you used style sheet uh, URI for example this one get like let me just copy this get style sheet URI and here so if any theme like which is not a parent like which is not a child theme it uses get style sheet directly URI then in that case it will load the style.css file of the child theme if it exists okay uh, in that case then child theme do have to enqueue the style.css file of the parent theme okay so as in best practice as a theme developer we don't have we cannot we like we have to use get template directory uri function not a guest IC directory uri function when we want to enqueue our own theme classes file okay so if i just make changes and if i go here and then simply go back and visit the site you see uh enter css every like all the designs and everything gone because our style our uh, the style.css file into the child team don't have any css and uh, and the parent theme uh, 2021 parent theme style.css is not loading here okay so i will simply just change this back and refresh and done all the styles are there so these are the like uh, you know um the base practices of uh, uh, we have to uh, keep in mind while we develop the teams okay so there are many things are there so you can go through this entire documentations uh, step by step and you will learn more about it okay including the template files which you have learned about the template file uh, template hierarchy and everything how we can override the templates and template parts as well okay so let me just go back um go to the template part function like just want to display uh, refer the locate template function so locate template function uh, always use uh, this is the main function to locate the templates into the theme and here it will check style sheet part the template part style sheet file refer to our active theme so in that case if uh, there is no child theme and current activate activated theme is itself is a parent theme so in that case style sheet part and a template part uh, uh, constant will have a part to the that uh, parent theme itself okay but in case of the child theme style sheet path refer to our child theme template path refer to the our parent theme 
okay so if the current child uh, our 2021 child theme is um, uh, activated so it will look for the template into the style sheet uh, our uh, our child directory first okay it's child theme first and if it do if, if the file do not exist then it will look for the in the parent theme if it not then it will uh, look for a theme compatibility folder in the wp includes folder which is for a backward compatibility okay else it will uh, it will simply return the blank like the file is not exist okay so this way and because of this um the overriding of the templates and template parts into uh, of the parent theme to the child theme is possible including the functions.php file as well okay so yeah so yeah probably like i have covered most of the points into the child team um and why we creating the child team right and also like you can uh enqueue the styles and scripts but you have to you have to know difference between this uh, get style c directory and a get style c directory uri get template uh, uh get template directory and get template directory uri so these two functions like you have to understand what is the difference between these functions and where and when to use the functions okay so and but in your child team you have to use get style seed there you cannot use a get template because it it will only load the temp, uh, parent theme uh direct uh, uh css and javascript for using that function okay it will return the part of the uh, folder team and there is no child theme of the child team only the parent and child there is no parent child and then another child team okay so child team will never be act as a parent team okay so that's the main um yeah so that's all about child team so please go through this documentation and you will understand more about what are the functions and what other things you can do into the child team okay yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress